Good evening, everyone. The changes continue for Brunswick County football, this time in Leland, as the North Brunswick Scorpions have named Brian Davis their new football coach. Brunswick County Schools Public Information Officer Daniel Siemens tells us that the school board approved Davis as the head coach at last night's meeting. Davis coached previously at Topsail High School from 2007 to 2012, and the move marks the end of the one-year tenure of Darren Willis, who had a 1-10 record last season as the head coach of the Scorpions. Now, Davis is the third head coach in the last three years for the North Brunswick football program. And the first season for new Seahawk head basketball coach C.B. McGrath is on the downhill stretch now and starting tomorrow UNCW prepares for a pair of home games against two very different teams in the conference. At his weekly news conference, Coach McGrath said it would be good to be home for the two games against James Madison and William & Mary. JMU has won back-to-back -back games, something UNCW is still yet to do, and the Tribes sit atop of the conference standings. Thankfully, UNCW is getting bigger production out of role players like Marcus Bryan, who Coach calls the glue guy on the team, and they'll need a top-to-bottom effort to keep the momentum on the teal side. I just think every game this year, from here on out, whoever it is with us, with every CA opponent, you really don't know who's going to win. Um, which is sort of exciting. I mean, it gives every staff, every coach, every player the confidence that if we go out and play, we can win. Now we'll have the action from the 7 p.m. game against the Dukes tomorrow night on WWAY Sports. And keeping things in trash, things are off to a much more difficult start for Karen Barefoot in her first year as the head coach at UNCW. After a 7-4 and four start to the season, the Seahawks have lost their last eight all against conference opponents. There are some bright spots on the team, including the emergence of sophomores Timber Tate and Lacey Suggs, who provide an offensive spark for the team. And despite not getting the wins, Coach Barefoot remains positive about her team. We just got to, you know, focus on us and continue to get better. And I, I know we are. Uh, we're right there, and we're just possessions away. So we're going to keep having that high five and floor burn mentality. And you know, it's going to come together at the right time. When everybody collectively does their job, I'm telling you, we're going to be a dangerous team. So I'm excited to be here. I stand with them all the way. The ladies will be back in action Sunday when they travel to Delaware to take on the Blue Hens at 1 p.m. And while we're talking about college hoops, we have a great day on the hardwood coming up Saturday, and you could watch it all on WWAY CBS. At noon, former UNCW head coach Kevin Keats gets his first taste of the Dean Dome when the Wolfpack take on 10th ranked North Carolina. Following that game, stay tuned for a huge ACC Atlantic Coast matchup when two top five teams meet at Cameron Indoor at 2 p.m. Number two Virginia is undefeated in conference play and number four Duke looks to change that. Once again, you could see it all only on WWAY CBS. And we want to give a quick shout out tonight to the Mid-Eastern Conference champion West Brunswick Trojan Wrestling Team. Tonight, they defeated their rivals at North Brunswick at home to claim that title. Congratulations to you guys.